Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November 2nd, and we are having beef soft taco with chips and salsa, club flatbread, fruit and yogurt salad, pinto beans, veggies, fruit. I have some sad news. Um, Miss Padro lost her mom over the weekend. She passed away. So I want you to identify with the feeling that you might have right now, which is probably you either feel bad for Miss Padro or you feel very sad for Miss Padro. And so that feeling or that characteristic is called empathy. So when you have empathy for someone's situation, you are putting yourself in that person's shoes. So when we look at empathy as a characteristic that we want to con convey to other people, it's a really important characteristic to understand. It's a really important characteristic to grow in your life is putting yourself in other people's shoes. And this can be generalized or applied to other areas of your life. So when someone is treating you badly, Instead of just being like, you just treat me bad, try to think about what's going on in this person's life that makes them so miserable or so sad or so angry. Like, what is going on with this person? Why are they like that? And you may not be able to answer the question of why, okay? But you can try to empathize and understand that, huh, they get angry really easily or, huh, they they have this situation where they get depressed very easily. So there's a lot of different things going on because what we don't really understand is all the stuff going on in all of our lives, your teacher's lives, your friend's lives, the people in your classes that maybe aren't your friends because you haven't made a connection with them yet or you don't know them that well. There's all kinds of things going on either at home or how they're being treated at school and it just causes a lot in their heart and in their head, lots of feelings. And sometimes those feelings come at us so fast that we have difficulty expressing our feelings in a positive way and some people express their feelings in a negative way. And as we grow, we learn to try to not express our feelings in a negative way. We try to figure out how to be more positive rather than the negative side of our feelings. So I would ask, or I would suggest, that as you understand empathy, you try to use it um, in your relationships with your family, in your relationships with um, your peers, which are the students that are your age, a year or two older, a year or two younger, just that peer group is the people that are your age. And try to learn how to relate to other people instead of just going on the defense all the time, going on the defense all the time, okay? Reaching out to people to try to understand, I see a lot of you do that. You reach out to a friend or someone you don't even know that well. You reach out to them and you try to empathize or understand what they're going through or how things are going for them and why they're so depressed, sad, angry, what, whatever's going on with them. So let's remember this feeling of empathy. I don't know which day Miss Padra will be coming back. I know we all miss her. But let's be sensitive when she does come back. Let's not overwhelm her with too much, okay? Thanks so much.